everybody. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining Wyatt and I today. Zena is here, but she is not cooperating. So she's trying to make sure she stays out of camera view and out of my reach. So we'll try to grab her at some point during this video. So it is still Tuesday. Um, so I am wearing the same clothes as my previous, vi my previous video for anyone who saw that one. Um, but it is pretty late in the evening, so I probably will not get this video posted until tomorrow. But I had three boxes come in the mail today. My Transcend, my Fashion Box, and my Natalie Attire, which I am going to unbox in this video. All of my subscription boxes seem to come at the beginning of the month. So it all seems to happen all at once. So, Natalie Attired subscription service, I believe it's a $20 styling fee, um, discount if you keep five or more, I believe. We'll get it to get into the box and I'll make sure I have all my facts straight. All these boxes are starting to run together. Plus, like I said, it's kind of late today, so <laughs> we'll make sure I have it all straight. Wyatt is exhausted, apparently. He has just had a super long day and it was really hot out today, so um, he is just worn out from the day, huh buddy? Okay, well we'll let him sleep and get to the unboxing, right? That's what's important. So, let's do this. I have not had wonderful success in my last couple of Natalie Attired unboxings, so I am super curious as to what is in this box. I only kept one item in the last one because I didn't want to lose my styling fee and I had some referral credits. Um, so, I did give them some feedback, and I believe I said I'm ready to transition uh, into fall. I'm not really ready, but, you know, I have to because the weather's going to change here shortly. And let's see what we've got here. So here is the inside of my box. Very pretty. I like the little sticker. I think it's a great presentation. And I do have a handwritten note from my stylist, who is Evie, who has been my stylist all along. And I'm not going to read that till we go through everything, and I'm not going to look at my price sheet either. They do give you an envelope to return anything you don't want to keep. And I'm going to cover up the pricing so I don't look at it and read you. So you have a $20 styling fee that gets credited towards anything you purchase from the collection, and you get a 20% discount if you keep it all. I have three calendar days from the day I received this to check out and ship anything back that I don't want to keep. Okay, so let's do this. All right, so first up, and I'm not, I'll go through um, pricing at the end after the try on, because I do think that um, I don't want to be, you know, persuaded by price alone. We'll see what everything looks like first. So first up is by First Look, and it is a little camo and gray top and looks like three quarter sleeve to me and it's a jersey material so it feels very soft and comfortable i'm going to pile these on top of wyatt who is like down here now next up is by clo and this is looks like a cardigan yep and it's in a um, I think this, I almost thought it was maybe purpley, but I actually do think it's a burgundy color. And it feels nice and soft as well. Pockets. So that's nice. Very fall. Next up is by Renee C. And this is another, it looks like three-quarter sleeve blouse. Looks like a sheer blouse. It does tie here in the front as a little keyhole. Does look sheer, right? Maybe not. With uh, what is that? Little, I guess, flower pattern. Not bad. I don't think it's bad. All right. Next up by Velvet Heart Denim. I looked at the size, and it's a size 25, and I normally wear a size 26. So this better have one heck of a stretch, which I guess it does. So maybe look at the size of that wig. Okay, maybe I can try these on for you. We shall see. Oh, okay, so 
denim, mid-rise skinny ankle, it says. Hopefully I don't burst them in the try-on. And they have this um, release hem at the bottom and some distressing. Okay, this is definitely a fall box, right? Makes me a little bit sad. I don't want somewhere to go, plus it's 90 degrees out today. Um, this is by Laylis, and it's a sweater with a turtleneck. Look at that. It's also very soft in a tan. Okay, so now that we've seen the pieces, let me see if I can read what my stylist says. She says, hi, Laura, I included pieces to transition into fall. The sweater will be super comfy and versatile. Liverpool jeans, I forgot to say those were Liverpool, have been really popular. I hope you like the collection better than the last. Oh, and she said, happy birthday. She knew it was my birthday today, I guess. Um, Evie, I promise to stop talking about my birthday. Okay, so that was nice. Let me get to the try on. Okay, so here are the first two pieces, the jeans and the top. And I did put a cami on underneath it, just in case, because um, it, I guess it's dark enough, maybe it's not sheer, but it felt sheer to me. So, I did put it on. These jeans are incredibly stretchy, and she confused me, they are not Liverpool. They are, Velvet Heart Denim. So that's the brand. Maybe she meant to send me Liverpool and didn't because um, that's not what these are. So I, um, and I put them on with a pair of little booties that I have just to see what this looks like. And the jeans actually fit pretty well, surprisingly, because it must be all the stretch. And they're comfortable. I actually bent down in them just to make sure they didn't slip and I didn't have any issues. They don't really feel tight. Like I have lots of flexibility in them. And this top is very comfortable. It's flowy, but I don't think it's too big. Um, I think it's meant to fit this way, I believe. I don't think it's too bad. Yeah, I don't think it's too bad. I'm going to try the cardigan on with this top since it's the closest thing in this bunch for it to go with. So the cardigan is heavy, um, so I think it would be, it would keep you nice and warm. It's long, which is nice. This would be nice for the ice rink. I can tell you. My son plays a lot of hockey. He's on two different teams. So there's a lot of practices and games. Um, so I think this is a cute cardigan. I'm not sure it goes with this top, but I think it's a cute cardigan. All right, next. Okay, next up is this sweater, which for any of you that have watched several of my videos, you know I have this thing about clothing touching my neck. So my anxiety right now is kicking in pretty strong from this sweater. This is very boxy. I'm not liking it at all. I did switch out my booties. Um, I don't like this sweater at all. It does nothing for me. Not to mention it would probably cause me some major issues if I were to try to wear it. If I fold it down, that's a little bit better. It's not touching my neck and I think it looks better. I'm not sure if that's what you're supposed to do with it. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. But now I just feel like it looks like I have a collar on. Okay, next item. All right, here's the last item, which is this little camo and gray three-quarter sleeve tee, which is 
very comfy and actually very cute. I like it. This would be a very nice casual top. You could wear this with leggings because of the length of it. Covers my butt completely. I think it looks cute with these booties and I like it. So I'll be right back so we can go over prices. Okay, I was able to grab Zena for you. She's not happy. She was in a pile of clothes in my closet making a bed. Huh? Can you say hi? Okay. All right. So, um, sorry about I'm in a back in my other my original room. I was doing my videos in because it's late at night and the other room is really only better in lighting during the day. It's not good at night. So I got to figure out a, a really great spot to do these videos and I really am an amateur at this. I really don't know what I'm doing. Sorry guys. I'm trying. All right. So let's run through these items and see how much everything is. Okay. So this top I have on, which is the three quarter sleeve camo baseball top is $36. And I think this is cute. I like it. It's comfy. It'll be really nice in the fall. I like it. The long sleeve front pocket cardigan in burgundy is $36. That's not a bad price for this. It's very thick and feels well made. Uh, yeah, so that's not a bad price for this. I have asked them to watch their pricing because I got a couple boxes that I thought were way overpriced. So I think that's a good price for this and I like this card again. So that's a maybe, depending on what all I pick here. The um, three quarter sleeve floral front tie top is 45. That's this one. And at first I didn't think I liked it and then the more I had it on I actually did. It was really comfortable and it would be a cute work top. It was flowy. I liked that. What did you guys think of this top? I started to like it the more I had it on. At first I wasn't sure, but then I really started to lean more towards liking it. The long sleeve turtleneck sweater, $49. I think you guys know how I feel about this. And then the skinny raw hem ankle pants, which I still have on. And these are super comfortable. I think they're very cute and I, I like them. So everything in this box, if I kept it all is $235. And if I kept everything, it says if I keep the entire collection, my balance would be 172. So that would be about, yeah, so that's more than the cost of that sweater. Okay, so you guys need to help me. Should, how did the rest of these, other than the sweater, I didn't like it, how did the rest of these items look on me? Should I keep them? Should I return them? Is there anything that didn't look good? Am I missing something? So let me know what you thought of my Natalie attire box. I actually thought this was the best one I've received from them as far as the prices weren't too bad. The $69 for the jeans, that's not a bad price. I got a skinny, skinny, like really thin material dress over the summer. It was a t-shirt dress that was super short for $78, which was so not worth it. That was a $36 dress. So this pricing is so much better. Um, I'm much happier with what they've sent me in this box. So aside from that, the sweater, um, and you know, the turtleneck sweater, I think the rest of the items are possibilities. So I would love to hear what you think. Please, please, please comment below. Let me know what you thought of this box and the try on and how these items looked. I love, love, love your comments and your feedback. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and show me some support. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. I so appreciate it. Hope everyone's having an awesome week. Till next time. Say bye, Wyatt. Bye, everybody.